Hey guys, welcome, welcome to Zone Traders interview with me, Simon Davis, also known as Zone Trader. Today we've got uh, Almes here, who's one of our students, and I believe he's only been in the trading game for a year, but he's doing very well and he's sending in trade ideas and he's very active in the community that we've got here at um, our Pro Traders Price Action course. So these interviews are all about a journey of a trader, what they've been through, the trials and tribulations how they've learned from trial and error and uh, how they've broke through in the trading industry. So first question is, Almas, where did it all start for you? How did you get into trading? And how's it going for you so far? How's it going? It all started in 2018. Back then I started only investing and uh, also I've been studying the markets. And uh, when I realized that trading can uh, uh, give me uh, um, can lead me to achieve my goals in life, uh, to have a lifestyle I want. I, I focused on that uh, a lot and uh, been studying. Basically, I've been studying uh, all retail traders' uh, strategies, uh, working with indicators and things like that. And um, for the last, uh, the results were not uh, satisfying for me. I always felt that uh, I. The problem was that I couldn't uh, explain to myself where I did a mistake. And uh, it's also it was the everyone... indicator's fault, not your own type of thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And everyone but... basically say it's market. It's not uh, going to work uh, 100%. Uh, but uh, I, the things I do in my life, I always try to find what uh, caused the mistake. Where was the problem? And uh, then I um, um, met this uh, smart money approach in trading, and I met uh, Simon on uh, so how, Instagram. How long have you been trading for? Uh, this way, I am trading for the last year. A year, a uh, year and a half, maybe. Okay. Yeah, year and a half. How long have you been trading uh, for altogether? It's been, I think, two years. Yeah. Two years, and smart money one year, okay. Fair enough. Yeah. And uh, so, you said uh, about your job, you've left your job because you're confident enough to make money in trading. Yeah. As I said, from 2018, I've been investing mainly in IPOs. Oh, okay. And uh, during these couple of years, I had an amount of money which I did not uh, touch. And when I left my job, I had uh, this, you know, buffer, money buffer. And I, uh, at first I thought this journey, uh, this uh, to consistency, to profits will be much faster. But when I faced the real trading and the struggles of trading, uh, the psychological struggles, um, I had so much, uh, I had a dozen of times when I wanted to give up and to, yeah, uh, yeah find another job. And uh, I saw that. No, trading is not the way, but um, I knew I was honest with myself. I knew that I was not doing uh, things I have to do, like uh, doing uh, um, the consistency is the key. Yeah, know? yeah, because you can know exactly what you're doing in price action, but if you've not got inner game, right. patience, discipline, risk right. management, and rule following skills down, never going to get anywhere in the trade and moving forward even if you've got the best strategy in the world, if the inner game isn't there and you're not patient enough or disciplined enough to follow the rules and wait for the rules to play out, then you're never going to make it in trading. So the inner game is, is very important in trading. Yeah, then I realized that uh, I was in this loop, you know, of uh, studying and testing. Uh, I had this feeling, I, uh, I will not start trading. I have uh, something to study i have to something to study i have this topic i have this topic and uh, this um, i was postponing where did you uh, start learning to trade youtube or something like that yeah it was all uh, uh, youtube uh, books um, like open sources but uh, what was when the benefits I, or I was... downfalls to youtube what was the benefits or downfalls to learning from youtube benefits uh, obviously it's free it's yep. for free 
but um, the best thing is that it takes time. It takes a lot of time to filter the information, to watch all those videos, first of all. The videos are not five minutes long, some of them hours long. So you are spending time and uh, by the end of the video, sometimes you can say that it was not useful at all. Yeah, so, some people go on rants and talk about other things. Yeah, you have to know what you're looking for. Stuff dig through all the videos to get to the gold. Um, whereas in, in, in our course, what we do is we go straight to the point and teach strategy straight away. And that's why our students haven't. So yeah, much. that's right. You're cutting a lot of time. So how long did it, did it take for you to start getting understanding trading on a much deeper level and how, and what was the catalyst to help you understand? Uh, you know, to be honest, uh, when I, uh, studied smart money, I, um, maybe because of the background, I understood it. I understood the logic, I understood the market structure. I, um, I was pretty good in uh, analysis, but uh, with actual trading, I was uh, um, struggling a lot. And um, uh, when, uh, what was um, turning point is when I started to spend more time testing, back testing, uh, just watching up the uh, charts because uh, sometimes uh, when you even even your course it's uh, one of the best I've seen but if I would just watch it and uh, spend like uh, 15 mere, uh, minutes you know, watching charts a day uh, there will be no results I think but when you backtest a lot you see the price action you watch uh, different time frames a like uh, piling you know this uh, knowledge is piling yeah you've, def you've definitely got work. to um, implement what you've learned in, through back test and see it over and over again and fire up your reticular activating system which is the thing that you're in your right, mind right, yeah. that actually spots these patterns that you're learning because if you don't fire that up then you, the patterns are just gonna like go they're going to be in front of you, but you're never going to see them because you need to drill that pattern right. in your head as much as possible. And that's through back testing and always also forward testing, which is experience in the market. Cool, cool. Yeah. So what do you wish you'd done sooner, if anything, in trading? Uh, well, definitely, I, <laughs> I would like to meet the smart money uh at the beginning of my journey okay because it took time to change the way you look at the chart uh you like watching it horizontally or seeing the blocks um but not those you know moving averages and things like that you're not watching the trend lines you know this uh, subjective stuff a lot of subjective stuff so you wish you'd gone on to smart money sooner than trying to figure out indicators and on the charts. And yeah, stuff. yeah. That's in a journey for everyone, isn't it? Everyone starts off, they see all the indicators and they try and copy that indicator mentality of use, not really looking at price action, but when the indicator does this and does this, when something crosses yeah. and then the, the RSI passes to 50 and it's overbought on the CSI or some uh, CCI or something like that, then they go and enter a trade. But we just use price action over here, don't we? And right, very right. simple, very simple when you, because charts, price action is, is basically like music. Each, each candle is, um, is, is called names. So we've got order box breakers, turtle soups from, from ICT. He taught this yeah. um, through his long videos that we've been through over the years. And right. uh, we're just here to simplify smart money. Like most people are out there as well. Um, but it's the way you internalize it, isn't it? The way you internalize the market through like stories helps to remember. Not right. always yeah. each candle is called a, a different name, like order blocks and breakers, which we can't show on here because it's a uh, podcast. But I do show in training as well, which order blocks, breakers, turtle soups and everything else. And you just use those simple uh, um, smart money concepts. Instead yeah, of the cases and lagging in the cases to to get a hold of the market and understand what's going on. 
yeah you make it really simple you know sometimes even uh, when you look at the markets at uh, the charts i mean uh, you think man it's too easy it cannot be that simple but it comes with time uh, well you're saying it's easy the uh reading yeah i mean uh, sometimes you open the chart and uh, see the pattern uh, clearly see the entry and uh, you think to yourself like it could not be that simple is that Why because you've so seen simple? that pattern over and over again through our life? right that's called. what i mean yeah we don't we I mean. don't deviate from what we do we just it's just one setup which is the safety trade and has a nine out of ten percent win rate sometimes maybe eight but i mean that's amazing and it's phenomenal for the industry and it's the way we teach it that really helps you remember it instead of just yeah, being like, is do this do that it's a, the stories we tell to help you you know where you are in the story where the price is in in time and then you've got to wait for the next part of the story to play out in order to take that trade so you're not just sitting at the chart and saying oh i'm going to enter a buy or a sell here you've got to wait patiently for the right moments to actually take a buy or a sell Definitely. yeah by the way simon you mentioned this um safety trade your rules uh i would like to thank you for this and uh this is also one thing i would like to uh, know earlier because it helps a lot with finding the entries and filter the entries because uh, there are a lot of guys right now who are teaching smart money uh, even the ict uh, says that he is uh, executing limit orders but um i think uh, it increases the um, you know, loss uh, rate a lot and uh, with safety trade you um, like your win rate goes up um, very like dramatically so, um, you know? no ambiguity to when to enter a trade you know the exact candle you need to enter on and why you yeah. need to enter. the thing is people talk about patience in the industry but then they don't really know what to be patient for and what to wait for but yeah, all the zone yeah. traders here know exactly what to wait for and they wait for it and see results. So what, yeah. are, the what are some of the challenges you've had? Um, what are the, some of the challenges you've had in your trading so far? And how did you overcome? Right, right now I'm taking my first ever uh, challenge. I'm up 3% right now. I mean like and mental challenges, but for... that's fine. <laughs> I mean like, oh, sorry. Mental, it's fine, it's fine. But that's good that you're in phase one of a uh, challenge. You're confident enough to take the challenge and come from it. Yeah. You know, uh, with with this safety trade, with these patterns, uh, I finally felt inner um, confidence in what, in my analysis, you know. And uh, when I felt this confidence, that was the moment I... Um, I just uh, went into, I uh, took the challenge but be, because before I was uh, struggling with that. I, I felt that I'm not ready for the challenge. I'm not yeah. ready for the challenge. It would be just a waste of money. But with this, uh, yeah. It's trading trading um, uh, about probabilities. It's about probabilities. How many trades can you win in 10? Like what's the probability of winning in 10 trades? So if you trade in sets right. of 10 and you lose five, win five, and you've got a positive risk to reward, then you can't really go wrong. And we're risking 1% of trade and sometimes gaining 3%, 5%, or even 10% of trade because we're mainly trading NASDAQ or US 30, which you can do that on all the Forex pairs as well, but it doesn't happen as often. But trading in probability, yeah. um, if you don't trust your setup, you're not going to take that setup again so the problem will play out. But if you 100% tr trust your setup and know your rules inside and out, then you can take that setup again, even if it lost last time, with 100% confidence, enough for it to play out in your favor, the probabilities in your trading over 10 trades. And you know if you lose five and win five, because of human error, not because of the setup, and you're not impatient or not disciplined enough to take that trade, you know that the next trade you take should be a winner because you're very confident within that setup. But if you weren't confident yeah. within that setup, you wouldn't want to take that trade and you'd be hesitant in taking that trade 
because you're not really they haven't got enough confidence in enough to take that next trade with with the setup that you're not very familiar with so my advice for people watching this is know your trade inside and out know exactly the trade inside and out strict rules like yeah. flying a plane because if you don't have strict rules, like you're flying a plane, like an airline pilot comes onto a plane and they check all the checklist in, in, before they take off. And if you don't check the checklist, they don't shut the doors or check the fuel, the plane's not going to take off. And it's just like the trade's not going to win because you've literally skipped rules. And the most important rule as well, guys, if you're taking notes and writing stuff down, is the most important rule in your trade setup is the last one. Because if your last right. one does not play out, then the setup is no longer is not valid. Because you can have every single rule play out, but then the last rule does not play out. It one hundred percent. The probability of the trade goes down. Yeah, that's uh, this rule saved me uh, a lot. Like uh, even this week, it filtered so many entries for me. Uh, this rule, this last rule. Yeah, and um, it, I mean, the last rule can be anything for anyone, but you need it. And the last rule is the most important rule because if you don't follow the last rule, then it, the setup's not there. And that's how important it is to have strict rules and follow the last rule. That's right, one hundred percent agree. Yeah, and um, I don't know. Oh, oh, you make a, a lot of emphasis in your course on psychology, which is. Uh, well, everyone says that it's very important, but I I think not everyone realizes uh, how much is it important. Yeah, it is important. That, that leads to one of the questions I've got here is, is trading what you thought it was at first? So what you, what you first thought trading was, is it what you think it is now or is it changed the view on trading? You just think it's oh, charts yeah. going up and like uh, price action going up and down and you buy and sell and then that's it. But is it really that? Uh, you know, I, I would answer this way. Uh, when uh, um, I used to um, give advices to people when they asked me, uh, should they start trading? Should they start trading? I always said, yeah, try it. Uh, uh, it's a way to your uh, freedom, financial freedom. It's, uh, it, it, is a way, it is a way. But now when I... Um, uh, realize how much uh, psychology plays a role. I do not advise anyone trading, uh, go into trading um, if they're not unless sure. You're, unless you're prepared. Yeah. yeah, unless you're prepared. But um, I think everyone started trading with the idea that money will come a week after the course, a week after the, you watch a YouTube video or things like that. A lot of those flashy Instagrams with guys posting with Ferraris, um, they are selling this image. And um, yeah. a lot of us came into this game because of this. Let's uh, be honest. I came into the game because of this. But um, at some point, I realized that trading, for me at least, it's not about money. Money is uh, like a byproduct, you know. Um, but trading gave me a lot. A byproduct um, of what? Money is a byproduct of what? I mean, the byproduct uh, of your um, discipline. Your working on yeah, yourself, yeah. yeah, on your yeah. discipline. And uh, trading is uh, more about um, learning uh, yourself, meeting yourself, uh, facing yourself. Uh, and um, if you are ready to be honest with yourself, if you are ready to say to yourself, I'm wrong uh, here, I'm not good at this, I'm ready to change those patterns in myself. Uh, so I think then uh, there will be a result. I mean, the financial patterns result. Profit. Patterns of impatience. Pa patterns patterns, a lot patterns of, of lack uh, of discipline. Definitely. Discipline. It's not uh, you versus the markets. It's you versus you. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, it's yeah. you versus you. And um, when you start uh, realizing this, um, I think it will help a lot. 
and helped me a lot because uh, I went uh, through a lot um, in my trading journey and I'm very grateful for this. I would not change anything. Yeah, it was, uh, um, it's still, I don't think that I'm still like a uh, guru or something, but I'm working on myself and this motivates me right now, not the money, but, um, uh, you know, uh, I feel that I, I'm getting better um, due to these charts. It would it may sound uh, crazy, but um, <laughs> the, those charts changed my life, my um, psychology, my psychology. And yeah. uh, you can uh, ap uh, apply these uh, trading rules, not only on charts. It uh, can be applied almost everywhere in your business. Uh, you know this risk reward um, it's it's personal development it's a personal development project it's not just the candles moving up and down buying and selling it's definitely a long life personal development project it's um you don't know you're not patient until you start trading you don't know you're not that disciplined until you start trading you don't know you're greedy or you're fearful of things that yeah. that much until you start trading it's um it's all internal and it's all, yeah, a muscle. You know, when it, it's all a muscle. You don't become a disciplined trader, guys. You don't become a disciplined trader. You become disciplined in life, which then, which then crosses over yeah. to your trade. And you become patient in life instead of being like, because you can, you can practice your discipline and patience muscle every single day. It, it's like muscles in your mind. So right. if you're working on patience, discipline, risk management, and rule following, which is the four key aspects internally, to uh, take your trading to the next level, as well as an edge. You can practice this muscle all the time in life in general. You can practice your patience muscle every day. So when you're waiting, in a, you're waiting at the lights, you don't get impatient for it. You're waiting in a queue or somewhat, you're holding the door open for someone or, and they're walking slow, you, you're waiting and you're practicing that patience muscle, not just on the charts, but in life. And the discipline muscle, just a simple discipline of getting up making the bed, brushing your teeth, getting changed, or going in the gym, just things like that, is practicing the discipline muscle to attach to the trading. And rule following skills as well is, is mainly um, just planning and plotting the trade. But yeah, you can practice these, these skills on it without the charts as well, and that will uh, help you move forward in your trading, definitely. You know, I remember when I was reading a lot, uh, stories, uh, like trader stories, uh, books, there are a lot of examples when they say, when they say uh, people are not putting stop losses. They lost uh, fortunes because of this. I, I was thinking like, I'm not this. Uh, I will not do this. Uh, I would never do this. I would always put my stop losses. I would do this. I would never... Uh, I've never moved I, my stop loss. Make this <laughs> yeah, but yeah. when you come to trading, when you come to actual pushing the buttons, you do sometimes uh, so many crazy things and uh, even cannot believe that it was you. Uh, so that's a way that everyone should uh, go through. And uh, also, I remember those stories when uh, people were interviewed and uh, were asked, when you um started become profitable uh like consistent they were uh, they were answering like i started to be profitable in two years in three years i was thinking to myself how come they <laughs> what were they doing these two years or three years where were they profits what were they living for uh, it was so confusing to me but here i am and uh, it's my second year of like every day day trading, and I can say, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's normal. Yeah. So Story. what what's helped speed up your learning? We again will be um, saying the same things <laughs> from from question to question, but it's self discipline. Uh, it, the self, uh, I came to the point where um, I had all theoretical knowledge. Yeah, I think about the forex markets, about the any crypto currency markets, 
so in theory i knew everything but in practice in theory uh, I knew <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah you got to apply it you know yeah when it uh, comes to applying it uh, i was struggling oh, you look that's my thing. <laughs> so uh, and self-discipline helps with this uh, when you um, as you said it was your words like you create your own rules uh, so uh, don't try to make difficult rules for yourself like i will wake up at 7 a.m and things like that because your body your uh, psychology will resist this uh, i was trying to create uh, a work day for myself but a comfortable one yeah i yeah so i live in kazakhstan and uh, uh, the london opening here uh, happens at two o'clock p.m so I don't have to wake up at 7 a.m. or 9 a.m. Uh, I just uh, wake up by 10 and uh, watch the graphs, and, uh, the charts, sorry, uh, marking them. And by 12 o'clock, I'm ready. I just uh, waiting for Asian session to close and see the um, London opening, New York openings. And uh, I have my plan. I have my alarms. And um, uh, so that I'm not uh, uh, stuck in front of the uh, in front of the screen all day. Yeah, so you have specific so time. This to a lot. Yeah, mm -hmm. to have your um, daily routine. So, what advice would you give to a new trader? Um, I don't want to be uh, obvious. I have that's fine. Thing. Obvious is fine. Yeah. My advice would be uh, not to be scared. Uh, to and uh, to be honest with yourself. Always be honest with yourself first of all. Uh, do not try to show everyone um, what you can do like prove to yourself first of all that okay you can do yeah, that's good and, uh, yeah that uh, if you uh, did it once uh, it it could be a uh, luck if you did it twice um, it also could be luck. but if you did it uh, three times then it's just a statistics you know statistic try to um, start to work and um uh, just believe in yourself and uh, try to be one percent better every day it's good philosophy so would you advise getting a mentor 100 percent. yeah i tried this uh, way on my uh, myself i struggled a lot and uh, mentor uh, would be very uh, helpful uh, on this way, but um, choose wisely, you know. Uh, uh, not everyone on Instagram for uh, driving Ferrari is a good mentor. Uh, try to ask questions. Uh, your mentor should be a person who was um, where you are right now and who is uh, now where you want to be in future. Yeah. So easily I think this way is accessible and cares about the students. Right, right. Ready to answer the questions and uh, yeah. mentor is a very good. Um, it's a person who will answer your questions. It's always good to have a person who can uh, answer your questions to um, show you your mistakes, give you advice, things like that. Yeah, I would uh, 100 percent recommend. Yeah, all all million millionaires and billionaires have mentors out there who mentor them in something. Because we're not we're, we're not all born we're not all geniuses. So you can we all need help in some aspect or some guidance or some accountability along the way. Like it's not it's not um, a bad thing to have a mentor or anything like that. It's like millionaires and billionaires have mentors. If people think they're going to do it on their own, who are not a millionaire or billionaire, like 
and struggling in life and they think they they can't they think they can do this on their own without a mentor it's going to take so much longer without without a mentor right um my, my mentor also ict i learned off his, his free youtube videos uh it's really beneficial really beneficial yeah i would recommend that as well and you know i would recommend one book if i'm allowed to yeah of course um uh it's uh I think it's Jack Schwager. It's called Market Wizards. Oh, okay. So if you are serious into trading, this uh, book would be a great motivation because it's a, the author just took the interviews from world's best traders, not uh, the asset managers or uh, investors, but actual traders. Yeah. And what they say about this game is very motivating and um, you realize that all of them are in the game because of the process not because of the results the process yeah and trust the process as well a book i would recommend is uh, trading in the zone by mark douglas that's a really good book uh, talking about prob mm -hmm. probabilities in trading and you don't have to be certain you don't have to think you're right in order to make money in this game it's all about mm -hmm. probabilities and not being as fearful to enter a trade when your edge is there, definitely. And understanding that the probabilities will play out in your favor if you've got a positive risk to reward overall. So we're yeah, going to wrap it up right. soon now, Miss. We're going to wrap it up. I just got a few um, quick, fire quest quick fire questions. Basically, they're just one word, one word. And you say the first sentence that comes into your head off each word. You ready? All right, let's try Okay, so these are random words. Uh, first one is stop loss. Stop loss, uh, 1,000. So you have a 1,000 pip stop loss? One $1,000 uh, uh, stop loss. You have a $1,000 stop loss? Yeah, $1,000 stop loss. It's 1%. Okay, so it's 1,000 dollars stop loss its one Okay, okay, fair enough. So, so that's so the your stop loss is one game in one percent, right? One yes. Yeah. My um, line for that would be use one and don't move one, don't move it out of pocket, <laughs> use one for stop loss. Next one, uh, risk management. Risk management, uh, one to three is the key. One I to three is the key, yeah. yeah. Risk to reward. Crucial. Yeah, risk then one to three uh, risk reward risk because I was, uh, you know, uh, should they answer uh, short or can they give it? Um, well, that's like a sentence or so, yeah. All right. So I tried to catch yeah. those, you know, enormous uh, one to 100% trades as everyone showing. But in the end, I realized that if you are funded, you have a huge uh, balance one to three. A day is uh, your uh, is my goal, uh, personal. Good, good. Indicators. Indicators. Uh, fake. I would say that one indicator is a good one, but uh, I think we cannot name it here. Yeah, you can name it. It's fine. People use it in all different ways. All right. I, I anyway, I wouldn't. Uh, okay. I would uh, motivate people to <laughs> take your course. No, it's fine. The, R the RSI helps us a lot. That's fine. We use the RSI because we know how to read it like the back of our hand and it helps with confirmation yeah, all right. the time. And we don't, we don't, we don't use it like anybody else. We use it way differently to everyone else. And it really helps us in our trading. Uh, price action. Price action. Uh, what can I say about this? Like the meaning, mm -hmm. like um, the charts, just, just those candlesticks price. Price action. It's a crucial uh, thing uh, to watch. You know, you have to understand this. Price is king. Price, yeah. Right. Yeah, definitely learn price action more than reading uh, indicators. Definitely. Uh, mentors. Mentors. Uh, mentors are key to your self-development motivation 
first, motivation first, yeah. Okay. And uh, Nasdaq? Nasdaq. <laughs> <laughs> Nasdaq is, a, is my uh, key to this billionaire life, <laughs> as you say. The first step in this journey, the first huge step. Yeah. My, my one would be a beast. Very, it's, it's more reliable than Forex as well, I think. It's 100% more reliable than Forex. Even though it doesn't yeah. seem it at first, but it's got way more pattern recognition than Forex. And your future, your future. What do you say about your future? My future, I, I would say that uh, I am the creator of my future. And I believe in that 100%. So it all depends on my um, way of thinking and way of acting. So my right. future depends on you. Yeah. Bright? With the yeah, knowledge of you're gaining, it's bright? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, I have my goals for this year. Uh, and the uh, first time in my life, I'm writing these goals. and. 100% realizing that I can achieve them and I will achieve them because I used to do it before, but sometimes you write uh, like in your goals, I don't know, you know, visit Dubai, uh, but inside it, sometimes you, you don't know how would you go there, uh, when and things like that. But uh, with today's uh, mentality and uh, knowledge uh, i i'm writing those goals 100 percent um sure um believing in them yeah it's very important to have goals because if you've got if you've got no goals it's just like in a basketball playing basketball or football if you've got no goal you're never going to score you've got nothing to aim for so the goal is there to aim for and it's good that you've got goals and you write and read them out every day definitely yeah all right. Anything? Any last words you want to say or anything before we wrap um, up? It was the first time ever I've been interviewed. So uh, Simon, I would like to thank you uh, for this opportunity. I would like to thank you for your attitude. Um, you're always, um, you know, um, available. Very responsive. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank you for this. Thank you for your course. Uh, uh, if uh, sometimes the, some, any time in life I, I can be useful for you, I would like, uh, I would be happy to uh, help you or something like that. Maybe we'll right. uh, meet uh, in person in life someday uh, so that I could say this uh, to you personally. Yeah, I appreciate that. Nice one. All right. Well, thanks for your Thank time, you. Alves. We're going to wrap up. This has been the first Zone Traders interview with me, Simon Davis, also known as Zone Trader. Alves, wish you the best of luck in your funding. I'm sure you do very well. If you need any help along the way, I'm always here to help. And guys, if you want, Thank you. If, if you want to um, get into, well, if, if you want to find Almes, I'll put his Instagram. What's your Instagram? Uh, it's Almas Arab. Of, uh, I'll send you. Okay, cool. I'll put it in the description below with myself, with mine as well, Zone Trader and Instagram. And if you want to take your trading and psychology to the next level, then reach out to us and ask how you can get access to the NASDAQ Mastery course. Join us on our weekly live calls and our supportive trading community where you don't pay monthly, just pay one-time fee, small one-time fee compared to what you're going to make in the markets trading this way. All right, guys, till next time. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for joining us live, guys. Bye-bye.